jump in back here. French toast. French toast. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Good morning, guys. Well, my Sorry guys. we've been so distant. It feels really, really weird to have my vlogging camera even out and like talking to you on the camera. Yeah, it's like 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. I think this is the longest time I have had off vlogging or like making YouTube videos. It's been like almost three weeks and it feels really weird. But I really Hello. missed it. Say hi. But we will get into that later in the vlog. But right now, what are we making? Pancakes. Pancakes? I eat. I thought we were making French toast, bro. No. No? Or we're making pancakes instead. You need to decide. What do you French want? French toast. You do want French toast. Yeah. Oh, and important aspect of today's vlog, which kind of dictates what we do. We are in week 12 of lockdown. What do you think about that? Yeah. Do you love lockdown? Yeah. I'm so glad. I think you're the only person in Australia who's gonna say that. Have you been having fun at home with mum and dad? Yeah. Mm, he actually has been living his best life in lockdown. We need to crack some eggs. Good job, yep. You're doing so well. Yep. Wow, do you know you're a better cook than dad? Can you put the milk in there? Perfect, whisk that in. Makes all the difference, a little bit of vanilla paste. Honey. Do you want to put the honey in? Yeah. Boom! <laughs> oh, I'm so scared you. Did I scare you? Go away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Alright, whisk it all together. Good, and you've got to hold the bowl with your other hand. So hold the bowl with this arm. Yep, so you can do it fast. Good. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> you can honestly ride anywhere. Riding, you have to ride right under my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put this on. Let me put this on. This one's yours. Let me make the toast. Quicker. You got it, go quicker. Oh my goodness. Thank you. You're welcome. Foxy yelled out for his sunglasses because it was too bright outside. Too bright outside. It was too bright outside? Sunglasses are cool. You can go sit outside. Okay, I'm really hoping you can't see my undies. I'm still in my pajamas, obviously. Look, we have a lot to catch up on. First of all, yeah, obviously I did a post on my YouTube community page. I did a status saying we were going through some stuff and I didn't want to vlog. I wasn't in the headspace to film myself. Yeah, I just obviously want to thank you for the really kind comments you sent on that status. I don't know, just like not pressuring me to come back to YouTube or not pressuring me to tell you what was going on. Kurt and I will open up when the time is right. It's just we're still kind of processing some stuff and going through some stuff. Yeah, I gave myself like three weeks and now I truly just want to like feel normal again and that's why I've been back on Insta stories. I have started working out again. Like I really did didn't even move for an entire week. I was just like on the couch pretty much. I just like had no motivation to move or even like wash my face or anything. And again, I don't say any of this to make you feel sorry for me or obviously I don't want you guys to pity me or anything. It's just, I'm keeping you in the loop and I usually upload either every three days or every week. So for me to go three weeks without an upload, I feel like I kind of owe you an explanation. Um, but yeah, Kurt and I will be opening up about that soon but yeah today it's week 12 of lockdown and it just feels like normal life now but today I, no i'm not talking to grandma i'm talking to everyone on youtube do you want to come say hi no today it's actually spring so lockdown is definitely getting easier when the weather is nice like when it's rainy and windy that's when i find it hard with a toddler locked inside all day daddy oh daddy's spraying cold water at you but today it's gonna to be almost 30 degrees, which this is in degrees Celsius, this is in Fahrenheit. It's gonna be such a beautiful day. So I think for like our form of exercise today, we're gonna to do everything outside. I'm thinking maybe like a paddleboard, a surf, swimming. I don't know, just like you're allowed to obviously go to the beach if you're doing recreational exercise. I just wanna have a good weekend. Like the past two weekends have been pretty flat for us. So yeah, today I just wanna have a good day, embrace the sunlight. Oh. There's a helicopter again. Are the helicopters to tell people to get off the beach? What's the deal? Oh, I don't know. There's been so many. I mean, just, just there's Look, there's different theories. People are saying they're like hovering over our houses to make sure no one's having like a backyard party. Some people are saying um, they're just on shark watch, which like, I mean, yeah, sure, they're on shark watch, but like, I'm telling you, there's like three helicopters a day. And then other people are saying that they hover over the beach because if the beach is packed, they tell everyone to go away. 
Oh my goodness. Check you want to go surfing? You, lay on, you got to lay on your tummy. Should we go surfing today? And then you do the paddling. Go paddle, 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 yeah, paddle. Yeah, now yeah. stand up. Quick, quick, stand up. Get to your feet. Stand. Go, 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 go. Hands out. Hands out wide. Yeah. Stand side on like that. There you go. Yeah. Now you're surfing. <laughs> Psalm of the day. Psalm of the day. Psalm of the day. Repeat after me. Say, eh, eh, em. Eh, eh, em. The Lord is my light. Your turn. Like, and my salvation. Yes, so good. Whom shall I fear? Fear. Yeah. The yeah. Lord is the stronghold yeah. of my life. Yes. Whom shall I be afraid of? Yeah. No one. The end. That's a good one. So no one. You don't need to be scared no of anyone. One. Because God's your best friend. Who's your best friend? Yes. Jesus? No. <laughs> Daddy? No. Who's your best friend? Mommy, best friend. No. No, Daddy's your best friend, mate. You know this. We go fishing, we go surfing, we do all fun stuff. Mommy does boring things with you. Since, like, you know, going through everything every day, I've just been, like, reading my Bible and praying. And as soon as I set out here to have my coffee, Fox went and said, Mommy's book, Mommy's book, Mommy's book, and came and brought me. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You know you need to go to bed earlier when your eyes are the same color as your pink artwork. I'm doing a tactical move and wearing the brightest, most obnoxious green jumper that I can find. So hopefully it takes the focus off my face. Anyway, the purpose of this brief intermission of the vlog is today's sponsor, Esme Skin Minerals. Esme, you guys know I've been using them for over two years. They are one of my all time favorite skincare brands. I use their serums, especially their hyaluronic acid. I love it. If you follow my vlogs on my Instagram, you'll know this is my go-to cleanser. This is the pro probiotic milk cleanser and I also finally got a big version of my favorite exfoliant. I think I showed this in my last vlog. I only had like a mini version like this and I was nearly run out. They have given me a discount code SD15 which gives you 15% off site wide. Obviously you can't use that on gift cards or in conjunction with any other offer but you can apply this code SD15 and add it to their bundles which are already on sale. So that's what I highly recommend doing especially if you want to try out like a cleanser and the hyaluronic serum. They have so many bundles to choose from. I did pick my favorite one. Where has it gone? The Hormone Struck Skin Bundle. If that doesn't scream Sezzy, I don't know what does. This is the bundle I would personally buy because it has one of my favorite cleansers, sunscreen, my two favorite serums, and then also another green serum that I used to have. I forget what it is. It's a skin treat of some sort. I had a Zoom meeting before and the guy on the other end was like, oh, you look like you've had a big week. Like I get it. It looks like I've been partying hard, but really. I'm just a mum doing my best, going through the storm of life. This is probably my favorite scrub I've ever used on my face and it's really, really gentle. Obviously, if you're like me and you have acne prone skin, you don't want anything too abrasive. This is really, really gentle and delicate. Hyaluronic serum, I'm halfway through this one. This is like my third bottle of it. I do a lot, which is probably why I go through it quite quickly. I'm gonna do it all over my face, down my neck, and usually I'm like pretty naked, so I'll do it over my chest as well. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the gold oil. I talk about this one a lot, and I'm not really like an eye cream girl. Like I love serums. I will have like a collection of serums, but I only have two eye creams, and this is my favorite eye cream, and one of my favorite products on the Esme site, a little bit. Like that and then because the ball is metal it's like really icy cold so in the morning when you haven't slept because your toddler just keeps talking about his day you can just use this and it looks like you're like 21 and slept all night well I mean 21 year olds don't really sleep all night do they but like I said Esme have given us a code SD15 for 15% off and you can apply it to bundles now which is super exciting but the code does run out on October 17th which is a Sunday here in Australia so make sure you use it before it runs out I'm just gonna stay here for a while and keep doing this until Fox wakes up but you guys can get back to the vlog. Okay, we are gonna go surfing or like go to the beach to some capacity, but I never wash my hair and I washed it last night. So I figured I would get my outfit selfie. So on Monday, I get to post for White Fox to help announce their app. But usually I would like go on location and get a cool photo for Instagram. So I've kind of mixed it up today and I brought, well, um, look, I gotta be honest. I didn't bring it, Kurt brought it for me cause it's like a thousand kilos. Remember this mirror from our old apartment? He brought this outside for me so I could get a cool outfit selfie. This is what I decided 
to post for my announcement photo. I'll show you what I did for my photo. I know, like some of you guys are like, shut up, Sarah, you're such a loser. But I love when you have a mirror and the sun directly reflects like basically into your eyes. Not great for sun damage, but I have a lot of sun cream on, so it's okay. So see how my face is in the shade? If you just like move forward a bit. It's like the lighting we use in a photo shoot. Like it's so glowy. That's work of the day done. If you go surfing, I'll go surfing. Mommy said Are you going to be a surfer? No. What are you going to be? Tiger. Are you going to be a fisherman? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Oh, did you like that? More honey, more honey, honey. honey. Please, mom. I miss grandma. You miss grandma? I grew up. Grandpa, Papa Jay. Papa Jay. Papa Jay. Nana. Nana. You love Abby? Yeah. Alright, finish that and then we'll go get... In your cozies to go surfing. Do you want me to go get your goggles? Yeah. Do you know if you wear these, you can look underwater? Look how cool you look. You can wear them together because we're only cool people with, with goggles. Oh, mommy's hair is in the way. Oh, man. Cool. Goggle people. Goggle people. <laughs> Say, let's go surfing. Hey! So we're not going to the beach, so what are we doing instead? <laughs> we're having a pool time before nap time because honestly, it was just, oh, you can hear. We're ready for a nap. It's only 11.30 and we are ready for our 1 p.m. nap. We're gonna see if Fox will go on his surfboard because he's a little bit scared of it in the ocean because he doesn't like that it wobbles. So we'll see how we go in the pool. Yeah, I, I foresee us chilling here for like 45 minutes and then it'll be time for a nap for both the boys because they're both grumpy. <laughs> pre-workout smoothie and pre-bedtime smoothie. I'm hoping we can put Fox down for a nap soon. We just went for a swim. I didn't swim. It's Our pool is so cold. I wish I could. I mean, I could. It's so, it's, it's so cold. So I've actually been kind of uploading a little bit to TikTok. If you want to follow me, my TikTok is up here. I do mostly post it on Instagram as well for those who aren't into TikTok, but I'm like, I'm weirdly loving that app. I never thought I would say that, but it, it's so addictive. Like it's so mindless just to scroll. So the other day I uploaded this recipe to TikTok and I'm telling you, I'm not even a mango person. Like I'm not really fully into mango. Step one. A cup of ice. Even if you don't like mango, you're gonna love this one. This either serves one like huge liter smoothie or like three mini ones. So we're gonna do half a banana. I've got some frozen ones here. It's a bit hard to open. We might, we might need Dad to help us. Here's our little hack. I shared this on TikTok, but so many people said they'd never seen it before. But you just get the cheek like that on the cup and then it removes from the skin. You can just chuck that straight in there, honestly. If you have a Vitamix, like it's gonna blend it up anyway. Here you go. Don't eat the skin though. Don't eat the skin though. Don't eat the skin though. Half a banana. We are gonna add greens powder, but I just like adding both. I'm gonna do a handful of baby spinach, but I mean, you don't have to add the baby spinach and greens powder. Everything is optional. Everything in every smoothie is optional, let's be honest. And then my favorite greens powder because it has pineapple in it. Mm. Yeah, it has like pineapple mm. and mint, which sounds weird, but it's so good in a smoothie. The cleansing benefits I love in the Superfood Greens Plus D from Chapika is the barley grass, wheat grass, <laughs> alfalfa grass, chlorella, kale, spirulina. I'm just gonna do a teaspoon of this. Just in all my smoothies, I like to add a little bit of protein. So I'm just gonna add a flat tablespoon. And if I'm just making Fox a smoothie, I won't put protein in it. But if I'm making it for me and Kurt mostly, and Fox is gonna have some, I will put it in. And then I do around two to three cups of water. Foxies. Ready? Well, cheers, family, cheers. Ding. Cheers. Ding. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. Chocolate. It's so good. So yummy, are you gonna have a little? So yummy, are you gonna have a little nap, do you reckon? No. I reckon we should all have a nap. But yeah, if you want to um, see my attempt at TikTok, then... Well, we got the cup TikTok. What he said. Really random, I have like a normal coffee in the morning, and then pretty much every day I have a big iced decaf. 
so good. And like coffee to me before I work out is just like placebo. It's just like the taste in my mouth. So I had a Tropica protein bar and then my decaf iced coffee with oat milk. Oh, so yummy. I'm kind of waiting for Kurt. Kurt is just putting Fox to bed. So I'm kind of waiting for him to come out because I'm not sure if we're going to work out together or I don't know. Like I just like someone else working out kind of next to me to motivate me to keep going. But I was just on Instagram. I did a little boom of my outfit of the day, basically just my new bikini. It's from White Fox. In the boom, I said, perfect for my fellow itty bitty titty committee people because I'm like a double A to an A. Whenever I talk about it, I get so many questions about how am I confident with no boobs or like a really flat chest or just hardly any breast tissue essentially. And I was gonna answer this on my Instagram stories but I figured I would just address it here quickly. And I replied to this one girl, so I'll read you my reply to her. She DM'd me, I won't say her username just in case she wants to be anonymous. She said, how do you have confidence with having small boobs? I have hardly any boobs and everyone makes fun of me and comments on how small they are, even some of my best friends, which makes me really insecure. So I said, honestly, since I was 15, I've replied with, I'm built for speed, not comfort. I grab my boobs and I say, don't be jealous. I love them too. Act confident, it's contagious. But honestly, that's the truth. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted boobs, especially in like year seven to 10. I would literally pray, like before bed, I would say my prayers, I would say thank you for the day, blah, blah, blah. Please give me boobs. Like, that is literally what I would pray for. I think it was around like year 12. It took me until year 12, like 17, 18, to realize my body was probably never going to get double Ds or even Cs, like I just, or a B. Like I just wanted to be a B. And I realized that that just wasn't really in the cards for my genetics and my body. I don't know, the day that I accepted that really helped build my confidence and honestly, if someone is making fun of you, number one, that says a lot more about them than it does about you. Obviously, they're insecure about something if they're trying to make you feel down about yourself and drag you down. But the best response to anyone picking on something, especially if it's your physical appearance, is embracing it and loving it. It's just such a backfire for that person. I cannot even count how many times people would like make fun of me, even if they were just doing it in a joking manner. Like it still hurts. It doesn't hurt my feelings anymore. Like I, I will laugh with it and be like, I, I, cause I actually do. I love having A's. It is so, easy to dress. I love putting outfits together. I feel like I really like that look of like a flatter chest on me. I love working out with them. Like I can wear a bikini top like this and do a high intensity workout. I could like jump around and do burpees. So I actually genuinely love having small boobs, but the same thing goes for having big boobs. I just feel like it's about embracing our bodies and acting confident. If someone is like ripping on you or making you feel insecure about your boobs, I literally hold them and I say, I'm built for speed, not comfort. Have you seen these? Have you seen how quick I can do burpees then what does that person say they go oh like that's awkward for them so yeah I get a lot of questions about having small boobs and being confident with them and I think after a while even if you're not super confident but you act confident and you speak words of positivity and praise and you have positive self-talk to your body your mind ends up believing it like honestly that is what it is your false or fake confidence at the start ends up being honest confidence and honest love for your body so yeah my biggest tip if you're currently in that phase of feeling a little bit insecure especially if it's about small boobs, just embracing them, act confident, and I'm hoping, like me, one day you truly will love them. Okay, we actually need to discuss something really serious. Why do men take so long in the toilet? I'm in my active wear. I've opened up the gym, I've got the garage door up, we've got the breeze happening. He literally takes 45 minutes on the toilet. I'm allowed to say that. We've talked about it on the podcast, he knows. I don't understand. I know he's just on his phone. Okay, 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 here's what we're gonna do. I've just tested all of my workouts for ebook number three, which by the way, is currently being designed. I don't have a launch date yet, but yeah, it is in the design process. I'm not super motivated and I don't feel like doing like weights kind of thing. I just wanna like move around and bounce around. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my custom timer. I'll actually screen record this so that you guys can see how I set this up. I go custom timer. I usually just do five circuits and then I just like stop when I'm over it, but I don't do five circuits. I usually do like two to three. We'll do rest period as 30 seconds. We'll do four rounds, 30 seconds rest. We'll do four exercises for 40, 50 seconds, 50 seconds and we'll have a 10 second rest. If this doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. We're basically just gonna do four exercises 
50 seconds, 50 seconds, 50 seconds, 50 seconds, and have a 30 second break. So it's just gonna be whatever I feel like doing. I'm just gonna move around, see where my body takes me. Don't leave me. He's still not back. <laughs> Repeat circuit one, three to four times. three circuits, four exercises each circuit, but after the second circuit, I just kind of got over it. So I ended up doing three rounds of circuit one, three rounds of circuit two, and now I'm gonna use my sweaty shredder timer. And I'm just gonna do different boxing combinations for each exercise. So you have six rounds of exercise one, so you do 30 seconds, and I'm just gonna do jab cross, Jump cross, and then I rest for 10 seconds, repeat it six times. Then for exercise two, I'll just mix up the combo. Maybe like jab, cross, hook, hook, and then that's what I'm gonna do. But honestly, I'm just happy that I'm moving. Like any movement in lockdown is okay. I say this is this is about 70 or 80 kilos worth of bags. So for her to be swinging that, that's some pretty serious force. <laughs> how, how much do you weigh? Like 40 30. something? <laughs> no, I'm like 50, 50 something. 50. <laughs> we actually don't own a scale, so I would have. I think it got us like it's like three people to get this up onto the roof. <laughs> Says he's swinging it like it's better. <laughs> yeah. Smiley boy. Did you just wake up? Yeah. You tired? No. Do you want to come out and go into the gym? Yeah. Okay, hang on, I'll get you up out of bed, hey? Oh, did you have a good nap? Yeah. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. yeah. I missed you. Thank you. <laughs> Your eyes are a bit a bit daisy, aren't they? Yeah? You're still just waking up. It's the best when you just wake up. Because you're all snuggly and you want to cuddle even though I smell and I'm sweaty. <laughs> Gross, get your face off my sweaty body. Let's go, come on. Follow me, we'll go find where mummy is. Let's go. Is this mum's? Yeah, that's mum's. Go have a look. My back up. You wake up, he said. Oh, I missed you. Did you have a good sleep? Such a nice cuddle, thank you. It's a big cuddle. Nice cuddle, mate. Just want to let go. Did you wake up a bit early, mate? Yeah. Did you have yeah. a good sleep? Yeah. That's my best friend. A real bad. Uh, oh, money. Got it. Mm -mm. Be you. Who needs dumbbells, huh? Look at looks out straight. Good like that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, bicep curls. Hi yes, the mama bear. Hi Look at her go. Okay, go back to sleep. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Last vlog I showed you guys things that I bought in lockdown because let's be honest there's only so much we can do in lockdown and I've only tried these once I showed these in the video I told you I would give you an update if I liked them or not I don't think I like them what are they called ice rollers ice globes icy globes they're glass so you have to be really gentle with them oh they're 
so cold. I did go to bed really late and I feel like I look tired. Like even on FaceTime last night, my sister was like, you look really tired, <laughs> which I am, but you know, it's my own fault. Like we went to bed late again. So it's supposed to reduce puffiness. I like the cold sensation, but if I'm honest, I would rather keep this in the fridge. Like I wish I kept this in the, oh, I just, I love the feeling of a gua sha and I just see results in it. I just, I wouldn't spend your money on this. Like I think this is a bad version of this. Also, I added a preset to the photo I took yesterday for White Fox. I think it looks really cool. It's just one of Kurt's presets. If you wanna buy Kurt's presets, I will link it in the description box below. They're the two I'm gonna post. Anyway, I should get changed. I feel disgusting, disheveled, but I don't know what I'm gonna put on. Like, am I going paddleboarding? Do I put on a bikini? I feel like yes. Like, I don't wanna put on active wear because it's Sunday. You know, like Sunday is not the day for actual workouts, right? No, it's just the day to live active, do something outside, make yummy treats, and clean the house and watch church online. Best thing about these hot days is you wear no shirt all day and you mow the lawns. We're mowing the lawns. How's your belly? It hurts. Yeah, I'm Sore belly. Um, Foxy has a bit of a belly ache and is just like doing a lot of yucky poo poos. Poo poos. So I'm just gonna oh. I hope it's just something he ate and not like a bug or something. What do you me? A beggar. Oh, oh better. Give me a cuddle. You just need to do that big you stinky poo poo. Tell me if you get sick again, okay? Yeah. Mow the lawns. Mom, mom. Am I happy? You're happy? It'll make you happy, will it? Yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Knuckles. Up. Up? You want to get up? I yeah. Are you going to go for a paddle board with us? No. No. <laughs> a lot has happened in like the last two hours and are you kidding me are you kidding me i've only just seen this now so i came home from paddle boarding had the best wrap like a big chunky chicken salad wrap which clearly had spinach on it because yep for this whole conversation there is spinach in my teeth so i said it first don't come at me you can't pay me out because I'm paying myself out. The paddle boarding, it was so much fun. It's just such a shame it was so windy. Like, I don't know if you can hear the wind now. Where we live, across the ocean is like another suburb, which is like an hour drive away. But I was like, okay, if we get drifted over there, I'll just call Kurt from Bundina. And oh, yeah, I was <laughs> I was actually worried we weren't gonna make it back to the beach because the wind was so heavy. But um, for the rest of the day, honestly, I just need to like tidy up. It's just like gotten so messy. Is it really a lockdown weekend if your house doesn't look like a bomb has gone off? In it not really yeah I'm gonna shut this vlog down now because I feel like I have oh hello Abby I feel like I filmed a lot for the past two days but just before I go I just want to say again I I know me taking three weeks off YouTube is not normal for me and if I was you if I was in your seat I would totally want to know what's going on I would be like just tell me like we don't care we're here to support you 
So I, I completely understand why people are saying that to me. But when we do open up and explain what was going on or what is going on, you will understand why we haven't opened up right now or right in the moment. So yeah, I just obviously at the moment ask that you be respectful in the fact that we're not saying it right now. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's always up to us what we want to share, but I am really open with you guys. The thing with vlogging and the way that I vlog, I want to be open with you and I want you guys to know what's going on in my life so that everything makes sense and you can understand maybe my attitude towards things or my moods or just like a lot of things happening in the future will be affected by um, what has been going on the past few weeks. So yeah, I know that I don't have to tell you guys everything, but I do want to open up about what's been going on. Anyway, it's like this fine line between like people say, don't acknowledge it and don't talk about it if you don't want us to ask. But I just think it's important to acknowledge that, yeah, I did have a little hiatus on YouTube and I am going to talk about it and I want to talk about it. It's just soon. We're going to talk about it soon. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Fox is pretending to do the lawn mowing. Can you see this wind? I was paddle boarding in this. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Thank you so much for all your kind words. Thank you for coming back to my channel, even though it's only been like three weeks. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life or weekend in the life. I thought this was just a fun video to get back on track and show you what's been going on and what we're doing, what our life is consisting of. This has been the best weekend I've had in a really, really long time. And yeah, I just, I'm feeling really grateful that we live where we do live and we can kind of get out into the ocean and go outside and yeah, lockdown is definitely made easier when we live in such a beautiful location. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure you stay tuned and subscribe because there is a lot of exciting things coming to my channel. Um, you guys will find out soon, but yes, it's really nice to be back. I miss you guys so much and thank you for being so understanding and supportive of me. Bye. Oh, you want to say bye? Earmuffs. Earmuffs, okay. <laughs> Gotta go, bye.